can I do for you? I'd like to see your goods. For a second. I see you're a member of one of our distinguished guilds. If I can't trust a person of your standing, who can I trust? I want you to take this letter and deliver it to the tavern in the dark streets. There you will find a blonde-haired woman. I need you to give the letter to her. No questions. Good luck. Ah, holidays. A relaxing evening in the tavern. Isn't it wonderful? And you are... I am General Black. Head of the inner city guards, or former head of the guard, I should say. My unit's been dismissed by the Doge in favor of those scummy Persian mercenaries. We have strict orders not to interfere as well. So while the Persians are living the life of Riley, we get to sit here doing nothing. Great, isn't it? I need a drink. Tell me more about the occupation. Who understands the motives of the Doge nowadays? If the mercenaries block all incoming ships, the people are going to starve. I don't think they'll have the people cooperating that way. And the watch posts they installed in the streets? Well, let's just say I don't think that'll help them find the one they're looking for. Do you have any assignments for me? See, right now I can't issue any official assignments. In my district they're a real plague, and there's a huge beast lurking in the sewers. If you could give us a hand, it'd be much appreciated. It'd be good for your wallet, and your reputation and all. Do you know any more about the rogue situation? If you're brave enough, you could follow the rogues to their hideouts, just before daybreak. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you know any more about that beast in the sewers? Personally, I think it's the dyer's fault. No one knows what happens when they pour all their colouring down the sewers. Anyway, as far as we can tell, if this huge King Gripper is slain, there will be no more offspring. All we have to do is take it out, and the job's a good one. Its nest is hidden deep inside the inner city catacombs. Keep your eye out if you go down there. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'll come back later. Haven't seen you in here before. New in town? Indeed I am. You wouldn't happen to have come down from the mountains, would you? Yes, indeed. Ah, I like mountain folk. Got some relatives up there, you know. I've even got a special room, reserved exclusively for mountain folk. It's got biscuits on the table and everything. Come and see. There she is. Good job. Thanks for bringing her in. You're going to die now. me to do this. They threatened to kill my family, my children. You will die on the spot. Stop!
Mmm, that looks good. That looks good. We are the new authority in this district. How can I help you? I'd like to see your goods. Welcome to my shop. How can I help you? Show me your goods. I don't know. Excuse me, who are you and where do you come from? I'm a member of the Net of the Mask. My apologies. Now that you mention it, I can see your badge. So you can't be the foreigner we're looking for. You may pass. You can't be serious. Don't you see that this needs to be done? We both have the same target. The occupants. We may have the same target, but we don't have the same aim. The Gondoliers Guild will never work with you cutthroats, no matter how hard times get. You fools! If we don't collaborate, we'll achieve nothing! You heard my answer. We will find other ways to help the citizens. Damn those gondoliers, always doing their own thing. We, the people, need to work together to get rid of the occupiers. But of course they don't agree with my methods. How about you? Are you friends with the Persians? Or would you be willing to help? I don't care who I work with, I just need to get on board this ship. Well, I don't work with just anyone. You have to be tested first. Meet me at my hideout on the roof. You can get to it through the tavern. The password is, watch your tongue on the roofs, it might get lost. Maybe then we can see if you're of any use. Anyway, I'd better get going before the guards show up. Hello, I've heard of you before. You earned yourself quite a reputation among the citizens. Tell me about yourself. My name's Ulrich. I'm a warrior. Well, actually, I'm the son of a smith, but I want to be a warrior. When my father died, I inherited his smithy, but I didn't want to become a smith, so the smithy is vacant. What's so bad about becoming a smith? It was always my dream to fight for justice. My father told me forging weapons was the best path to follow, but using them was what really fascinated me. Now that my father's died, I can shape my own future. I want to become a member of the guards, but as of yet, they haven't accepted me into their ranks. But until they do, I'll continue my training and help with the training of others. I know someone who'd love to work in your smithy. Really? That's great. But I won't give my father smithy to just some guy off the street. I'll need either a certificate to prove his skills or a transfer fee. Of course, I'm not unreasonable. In the latter case, I'd have someone fetch the smith and his tools as well. What kind of certificate do you want to see? 
Well, show me something that proves he knows his trade. You know, the kind of thing people hang on their walls or put on their fireplace. Or put on their fireplace. Some smiths store their first pliers on the fireplace and then hang the certificate next to it. My father did so. I remember it well. So this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Let me think about it. All right, I'll await your decision. What can I do for you? I want to learn some fighting skills. Well, I'm not really specialised in one subject, but I surely know some good tricks. Welcome to my store of occult items. Are you looking for any special items? As a matter of fact, I am. This may be just a legend, but people say that, although I've never seen it for myself, in the right conditions, creatures made of stone can sometimes come to life. Apparently, if you can destroy them, there'll be a special rock among their debris called a pale heart. If you can bring me eight pale hearts, I'd like to try and create something very special. About these roof beasts? Well, I don't know. Back in the old days, I used to climb the roofs to collect white ivy. But now it's all crowded by these horrible flying monsters. If you could destroy their nests, I'd be very grateful. About these roof beasts? Did you destroy all their nests? Not yet. Welcome to my store of occult items. I found this magic ring. A magical ring? Allow me to have a look. Well, that's a pretty nice ring. But it's not the size of the ring, it's the gems that really matter to me. By taking the gems from these rings and attaching them to magical weapons, you can greatly increase their powers. If you had, say, a moon blade, I could get started right away. It's funny you should say that. I have a moon blade right here. Shall I improve your moon blade for you? For only 500 ducats? Yes, please. Okay, if you'd like to hand over the moon blade and the ring. Here, take them. Okay, this won't take long. Here's your new moon blade. Better than ever. If you ever find another magic ring, feel free to drop by again. Thanks. <coughs> Welcome to my store of occult items. I'd like to see what you're selling. I have a wide variety of magic goods. Maybe I have something of use for you.
Finally, my own tavern, and all the food and drink is made out of apples. I'd like to order something. Hello, my friend. I'd like to rest. There's a spare bed in that room over there. You may use it. Goodbye. I'm bored to death. It's time that my blade tastes some fresh blood. Where's Balthazar, by the way? He should have been back an hour ago. I told him from the start that robbing the necromancers was a bad idea. They deal with cursed creatures. No good taking things from them. Whatever the value on the black market. Coward. Balthazar will be back any minute with a treasure in his pocket. the necromancer's scroll. That's what you get when you deal with the dead. Fox, what are you doing here? I was watching over you. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. I needed to be sure we were on the same side. And so far at least, it seems we are. In future, just remember, those who have a strong enough bond with the dead are able to resurrect them. Stay away from these statues as long as you can. There will be a time when your connection with the dead is so strong that you'll bring them to life yourself. How do you know? Because I'm sure of it. I can see some things. I must be gone. Oh, by the way, 
that's a dangerous scroll you found there. You should return it to the net of the mask uh, as soon as you get a chance. Watch your step on the roofs. It's a long way down. Watch your tongue on the roofs. It might get lost. <laughs> right, go inside. Uh, Tusker's already waiting for you. Ah, a visitor. Sorry I didn't do any cleaning before you came round. What kind of host am I? And there's no tea or cookies either. I guess the next time I kill my maid, I should make sure I've got a spare first. <laughs> anyway, this stinking place is my only refuge right now. The Persians sealed off the Arsenal district because it's a rogue's domain these days. Kitten, my boss, is waiting for me, so I need to get rid of those bastards, and quickly. And you? My name doesn't matter, but I need to get on board this ship. Ha! <laughs> get aboard the Claw? To do what? Don't waste my time. On the other hand, let me have a closer look. I told you I need someone who can handle a tough situation. I think you need to prove yourself a little more first. Get yourself some credibility. Earn a reputation. Or, if you prefer a more hands-on approach, you could put your fighting skills at my service. You want me to fight for you? Well, a, uh, special friend of mine is being held prisoner in the catacombs by a huge meathead of a guard. I need you to help him escape and get rid of that guard. Mind you, you need to be an experienced fighter if you want that guard to accept your challenge. How can I earn a reputation? <laughs> How do I know? Talk to people. Ask if you can do things for them. The tavern might be a good place to start. Or go to the outer city and ask the judge. You'll have some assignments for well-behaved people like you. I'll be back when I'm ready.
Welcome to my store of occult items. I have some pale hearts for you. How many pale hearts do you have for me? I have one pale heart for you. Wonderful. I need seven more. About these roof beasts, did you destroy all their nests? I did. Thank <laughs> you.